Hey everyone, this is Jose, and I want to talk to you today about lending. Now, I'm a realtor, I'm not a lender, but part of the process of buying a home is getting a home loan. And sometimes people don't realize how in depth the lenders get when they're asking for information. Sometimes maybe question why they ask for so much information, but I want you to put it in perspective. Uh, when someone is buying a home, let's say in Florida, the average home can be easily three hundred fifty, four hundred thousand for a basic home. Not talking about a more high end home. So when someone's going to lend you that much money, they're going to ask you questions and they're going to ask for documentation. And if you are transparent and give them the information they need they can make a fair assessment of your credit worthiness and what you would be eligible to get for a loan. Now, if in the process of vetting the information that you've provided, they find that something is missing in your history, that can make a problem for you and that can result in a deal going sideways and you not buying a home. So just to give you a perspective, what are some of the things that lenders are looking for? They're looking for credit score and history. Uh, for most conventional loans, 620 is the minimum score. Uh, FHAs could be 580. In some cases, it can be less. Uh, all depends on the lender and their requirements. Another thing they're looking for is consistent employment history. Typically, they're looking for two years of steady work in the same profession. So let's say you work at Hospital A uh, in administration, and you got a opportunity to go to Hospital B, and you have one year of work history in Hospital A, and you have one year of work history in Hospital B because it's the same type of work that is okay. Now, if you went from working at Hospital A to joining the circus, that is a problem because it's two di very different career paths. Uh, they're looking for steady income. Uh, they're, looking, they're looking at how much do you make a year. Um, they're gonna ask you for tax returns to confirm that. They're gonna ask you for pay stubs. Um, Keep in mind, anything that you put on your application for a loan is subject to verification. So if you say you make X amount of dollars, they're going to ask you to prove it. If you say you have X amount of cash in the bank, they're going to ask you to prove it, usually with a bank statement. If you say you have X amount of debts, they're going to ask you to prove it. And in addition to that, they're going to pull your credit report to confirm if the debts that you say you have, you have, and that there's not anything in addition to that or maybe something that uh, the dollar amounts are very different. Uh -huh. They're gonna verify your income, their tax returns, I mentioned that already, verify your employment. They'll, they'll, they'll pull um, the records necessary. They'll call up your employers to verify dates. They uh, verify assets. They will ask you for bank statements or investment account statements if that's the assets that you're gonna use to purchase the home. Debts, they're going to ask you for copies of those of the debt statements, your credit cards, your car loans, your personal loans. And they're also going to pull the credit report to verify the information. Because they're lending you money, they're well within their rights to ask you for this information. If there's any gaps in the information or if you intentionally uh, mislead, that is fraud and that is a crime. Uh, not to mention, if you get into a contract with someone to buy their home and then you don't qualify for that home because you misrepresented yourself to the lender, that not only hurts you in the sense that you can't buy that home, that hurts the lender because they could have sold the home to somebody else who qualified, but now they're having to put it back on the market because you are no longer qualified to make that loan. So 
please do everyone a favor, be open, be upfront, let people know your flaws. If you if you had to be off of work three months because you got injured or there was some kind of family emergency and you cannot work, just say so. Let them know. Let them know everything, everything that is relevant to the to the loan application. You don't have to talk about when you were six years old, but anything relevant to the application, you do have to be honest and upfront and understand that it is going to be reviewed and verified. So let's make sure that we're all working together so that home buyers can get homes, home sellers can sell their homes, so then they can, they can buy their next home. Thank you for listening to my rant and enjoy this beautiful day.